Shout out to BWB, man. BWB, nigga. Shout out to BWB, man. You know what I'm saying? Big Wagon Bus, man. Shout out to Big Wagon Bus. Thank y'all for coming. BWB, baby. Out of the TLP Sports Club, baby. What up, guys? This is bonus information that I wanted to put in front of this video. This is not the official video that I was doing, but since I was going to export this video anyway, and then this information just dropped, this is sort of a breaking news. Fox Big Noon kickoff for the TCU game. We're going to be kicking off Big Noon. I believe for the rest of us, it's going to be noon, but mountain time is going to be 10 a.m. So you guys in the mountain, you guys on the west, are going to be a 10 a.m. game for the rest of us on the east coast. We're going to be around noon, New York City time. Huh? You guys are some football lovers. You love football over there. So it could be a 7 a.m. game and a lot of you are going to show up. But yes, on the East Coast and the rest of us guys over here, we are going to be enjoying the game I had known. Get your popcorn. Get everything ready. Do all your chores. Make sure you do your chores. Maybe the night before, get ready for us to beat TCU, for us to knock them down. You understand what I'm saying? Coach Prime is getting his prime time start. Power 5 start at noon on the East Coast, but 10 a.m. Mountain time they're talking trash on twitter they're saying we're gonna get whooped on national tv it don't matter what they say nobody got time for their nonsense and their negativity or their double detractions or their triple d's their detraction not none of that matters you know what i'm saying but that is the information i wanted to give you right on top of this video and now without further ado here is the video buff nation what up bwb my band wagon buffs what it is what it does and what it's gonna be it's your man's harry billion Welcome to the Liberian Perspective. Got a quick video for you guys about Nico Ree, one of our cornerbacks that jumped into the transfer portal. Before I get into this video, please do me a favor, smash that subscribe button. Make sure to give me the thumbs up. And don't forget that BWB gear is available. You can rock the gear of the best fan base there is in all of college football. That's bandwagon buffs. Everywhere we go, that BWB's on our back and people know who we represent. You understand what I'm saying? So go ahead and copy your gear, but you know what? Let me give you this news real quick. That's all the business I got. You know what time it is. Let's work. Some news just came across the wire guys on Twitter. On three, got the write-up. I just wanted to give this to you. Nico Reed found his new school. I want to give you that. But the reason why I want to give you this is because every time these kids leave, I like to read between the lines. You understand what I'm saying? I, I like to read between the lines because if I don't get an interview with these kids, the only other time that we get to understand what went on in that locker room is to get the interviews that they got with these big companies. You know, when you read the interviews from these companies, you know, a lot of these kids, they start talking and they start answering questions. You kind of read between the lines on what's going on. So let's go ahead and go to the Un3 article and find out what's going on between the lines of Nico Reed going to his new school. Let's go. Former Colorado cornerback Nico Reed commits to Oregon. Former Colorado cornerback Nico Reed announces transfer portal commitment to Oregon Monday afternoon. Right now it is about 4 8 Monday. So yes, it just happened not too long ago. The 5 foot 10 185 pound will have 2 years of eligibility remaining. Reed or why he chose Oregon. All right, this is where we read between the lines. Okay, Nico Reed, let's read between the lines. Anything that went on that caused him to jump into that portal Order. let's go one was the connections Oregon had as a whole coach me recruited and coached me my freshman year sending guys over to the league along with some coaches on the staff coming from Colorado as well some of the coaches are from the same area as me as well coming from the Bay Area so I had a lot of connection to a lot of coaches here as well everyone knew somebody or was connected with somebody which makes Oregon feel like a big family everyone loves and cares about the development of their kids on the field and as men so I felt like this was a great place to come and get developed as well another thing is that these guys are ready to win and everyone has a background of winning and i'm about it here and doing it right away i love the city and the fan base as well they make it a huge deal up here at Oregon. everyone's ready he currently has an on three nil valuation of 29k in his two seasons with colorado reed appeared in 24 games and made 13 starts during his stint in boulder he recorded 42 total tackles one sack two tackles for loss seven third down stops six pass breakups and three interceptions reed is also a catalyst in the return 
return game with 550 career return yards and a kickoff for a touchdown in 2021. Replay high school hoops at Magnolia High School in Arkansas, where he was a four-star prospect. He was the number 91 overall recruit in the 2021 cycle, according to UN3's industry rankings, as weighted average that utilizes all four major recruiting media companies. All of these kids that left Coach Prime just understand that they are going to be linked with Coach Prime for the rest of their college career. It's not going to end. The detracting media, the people who really felt some kind of way, the same people who were writing the negative stuff about these kids, now these kids are going to be heroes in their eyes. That's what I'm going to take away from that. I know that these kids are going to do good. Coach Prime wants these kids to do good as well. Now that they left Coach Prime and there's been negative media, anytime they make a catch, anytime they make a tackle, anytime their team wins, just know that there is going to be media that's going to be linked back to Coach Prime. Some writer, some commentator, somebody out there is going to say something about why Coach Prime let them go. Anything great they do in their career from now until the NFL and beyond is always going to come back and detract from Coach Prime. That's just the name of the game because it was a mass exodus. The mass exodus in itself is newsworthy. So anytime something happens to one of these kids, it's going to come right back to Coach Prime. I believe that's expected. It's not unique to Coach Prime because anytime a person leaves a team and they start to thrive under a new regime or under a new coach or under a new team, people always link them back. But just because Coach Prime is the hottest thing spinning, just because Coach Prime is the biggest name in college football when it comes to media and attention and all of that, and right now he's eating everybody's lunch and he's the hottest thing, everything that he does gets amplified. Anytime any of these kids do something, it's going to be amplified and it's going to come right back to him. But I expect that to happen. I've said that Nico is a good player. When I saw his tape, even though a lot of people were saying, you know, he was being shook by Travis Hunter. He wasn't that great of a cornerback. But most of our opinions are going to be based on who we like and who we don't like. But from my perspective, I think Nico can play. For what I saw, the footwork, the recovery time, keeping up with the receiver, and just how he moves, he's a good player. More than likely, we're going to see Nico in the NFL. That's for sure. Nico's got a great opportunity. He got a great upside as far as football skills are concerned. Hopefully, this coach that he's going with, Coach Meek, hopefully this coach is a great coach that's going to mold him and help him to get to the NFL. Nico looks like a great player. I really didn't get the opportunity to see him play uh, and cheer for him, but I believe he's a good kid and that he's going to do well. Hope that he does the best that he can do, do everything that he can do to try to get to the league. He seems like a respectful kid. He ain't got nothing crazy to say because a lot of people, when they leave, they got things to say. They will say crazy things, but everybody wanted to win here, a boater. So it's the same thing. When you land somewhere, you want to say good things about the fans. You want to say good things about the coaching staff this is business as usual nothing crazy here nothing to read between i think he's a good kid listen if you weren't a college football fan before i guarantee that you are one now because we know these kids names they've grown on us regardless of the fact that these kids left coach prime you know them now we're bringing you videos like this we're always letting you know where they're going where they're landing their new schools and stuff like that this is how the fan base works so now college football is a thing that's going to be a part of your life your everyday life whenever you see these kids play or wherever you hear their names when they do something Thing and it links back to Coach Prime or on a Saturday, you're going to be thinking about the Oregon Ducks. You're going to be thinking about Auburn. Anywhere Montana play, anywhere Nico plays, this is going to be now part of your life. Even when they go to the NFL, you're still going to be thinking about them. That's just how human nature is. That's why there can't be no hard feelings. You know what I'm saying? We're all fans. This is the idea of sports. This is the sports story. This is why I do what I'm doing because of these stories. You learn about these kids. You hear of their stories. These kids have parents who wanted their kids to play. Whenever they transfer, it doesn't mean that we stop cheering for them. I'm going to continue to cheer for them. They are now going to be naturally a part of the Colorado story and they're forever going to be linked to Coach Prime. Not going to stop me from cheering for these kids. If Montana does something, Nico does something. Yeah, I'm going to make content. These kids are linked to me, to my channel for the rest of their careers. Anytime they do something, I'm going to drop it here. I'm just going to keep track of these kids because they are part of our community. Uh, I want them to win. I'm wishing them all well. Nico Reed, man, ball out over there in Oregon. You are a Oregon duck. Quack, quack. Do your thing. Nico Reed, ball out. God bless you in your endeavors. We will see you on the football field. Get it? See you on the football field. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it right there. You know who I am. I'm Harry B, the decoder. Make sure to grab your BWB gear on the way out. All right, I will see you on the next video. That right there was the Liberian Perspective TLP Sports Club. Brah.